much worse than I thought it was gonna be. This might be the worst rags to riches I've ever tried. This is maybe gonna be the weirdest rags to riches video I have ever tried, or at least one of the weirdest. The dirt one was pretty bad. That was, that was really weird. Bust the dust is a very weird concept. But today we're gonna try to get rich quick in The Sims from caves. As in, the only money that my Sim is allowed to earn is from exploring the new cave in the horse pack. I've done a handful of rags to riches videos that do not end with riches or even get anywhere remotely close to riches. Normally by the end we've got at least a house, but this time, this time I'm not sure we're gonna get anything. Cause I've tested this a little bit and I usually get like maybe 20 simoleons a day if I'm lucky. So poor Stanley is really in for it today. I, I think this is gonna be rough for him. I'm nervous about what season to start in cause I don't think that we're gonna have walls. So I think maybe we start in summer and hope that by the time it gets to winter we can afford an enclosed space. So he doesn't freeze. The poor guy is getting a big empty lot and zero simoleons. And the whole concept here is that the only way that we can make money is by exploring this cave. Hang on, let me find it. Wait, 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 wait. This cave, there we go. <laughs> the only way we can make money is by exploring this cave. You can also only do it once per day, so this is gonna be a little bit rough. Luckily in this area, there's a couple things that will probably come in handy. There's some bushes around the place so we can pee in them. There's also a couple bits of wild prairie grass that I can harvest so I can maybe pay for food. I guess we could fish if we need to. There's a frog over here. Here. But more importantly, all the way up here, there's a bathroom and fire pits, so I can cook dinner on this fire pit and I can nap on these benches. So that should help us take care of all of our needs for now, because I don't know if we're gonna be able to buy anything for Stanley. He's about to head into the caverns for the first time. So the way this works, it's almost a little bit D&D style, and it gives us these pop-ups where we can choose offense or defense, and the goal is to defeat the creature and then progress further and further down into the cave. Occasionally it pops up and it says, oh, you found 17 simoleons. Sometimes there's treasure chests, but I only ever find like 20 simoleons in there. And I think it's possible for us to find stuff, like random items. I just, um, I don't know how good they're gonna be. So this first one, level one, two step in giant spider. Stanley steps through a cavern doorway draped with silken string. Eight eyes blink in the darkness and a giant spider emerges from the shadows. Oh no. It's eight appendages donned in orange tennis shoes, twist and turn into some sort of arachnid dance. It looks at Stanley expectedly. A dance challenge has been issued. We obviously have full health, so I'm just gonna go offense and then keep doing that until I can hopefully defeat it and win something. See, six simoleons. Oh, good. <laughs> That's perfect. As Stanley meanders through the dark and foreboding cavern, a loud roar is heard nearby. Stanley turns and finds a mammoth strong-armed bear standing with its claws in plain view. With a snarl, it extends its paw out, challenging Stanley to an arm wrestling match. And this bear has less health than the spider. Did. I defeated it in one go. From out of the dark, a skeleton leaps forth holding a bone-shaped microphone. Spitting out some sick rhymes, the skeleton has a bone to pick with Stanley. The rap battle has begun. Oh, it did damage to me. Uh-oh. I prefer when things are easier to win. We discovered a treasure chest. Open it, open it. 25 simoleons! We also found two trash fruits. Oh, great. Sometimes it repeats these, like I got the spider again just now. The creature gets distracted and abandons its pursuit. Stanley sighs in relief and continues to explore. Okay. Another treasure chest. Oh my god. Stanley lifts the lid of the chest gingerly, but is shocked as a snake pops out. The sneaky snake chases Stanley out of the cave. Oh my god. See, now he's dazed and we can't go back in there until tomorrow. Stanley has had enough of the dread horse caverns for today. Okay. Oh, I just ignored the welcome wagon. I didn't really think about that. He got a frog that's worth a fair amount of money. I think I might actually let him go look around for some other frogs. He kind of needs to pee, so you could fertilize the bush too if you want. But since I can't go back into the cave today, I might just run around trying to explore and see what we can find. Oh, they left food for me. Oh, that's good. That at least covers a meal for today. And this is nice. There's a bush like right behind my lot, so we can use that. A fair amount of sims come right around up here. Granted, not very well, <laughs> but a fair amount of sims do come this way. So if our social need gets low, I can always talk to them. And I guess we could probably swim
swim to build our fun? Do you want to go skinny dipping? Is that weird? Oh, I got two pieces of prairie grass. Hey, wait, and a bottle of energy nectar. Oh, I'm gonna sell that. I'd like to buy a sleeping bag. I think that's my number one goal right now. And I know that we're gonna need a sheep. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I've learned that a bunch of the cave levels have different like puzzles almost where you have to have the right item in your inventory to get through. And one of the early ones is having a sheep. So we have to buy one of those. I'm gonna breed these two frogs together and then sell them both. I guess I'll sell them those trash fruits from the cave as well. Oh, that's good. Swimming does build is fun. Stanley, do you want to eat one? Oh, is it spoiled already? Oh, I waited too long. We could have had dinner. I'm sorry, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put some clothes on. Oh my God, that was scary. I'm actually gonna head into town because I want to get some chips at the bar and then try and buy a sheep. Discount drinks? No, <laughs> I won't be buying a drink. I'm gonna be buying some chips and that's only because chips are free. My social's getting a a little bit low. I might say hello to these people. I should be able to click on this sign to buy our sheep. Okay, we have to get a cheap one. The cheapest is 150. Okay, I'll get a white mini sheep and I'll go bring it back home. Again, home is a strong word. It, it's a giant empty lot, but, but I think I can get a sleeping bag. I should have enough money for a sleeping bag. Oh. I actually don't have enough money for a sleeping bag. I need 140. Wait, wait, wait. I sold the hay. I have 141. Okay, false alarm. There we go, Stanley. Look at that. Okay, our needs are very, very bad today. I need to find a shower and some food. I'm wondering about trying to use the neighbor's house for that. They don't usually like it, but if I try hard enough, I might be able to get a slight shower in before I get kicked out. You need the always welcome trait to be able to actually use people stuff, but obviously I don't have enough points to buy that right now. <gasps> Don Gooseman, are you grilling? Oh my god, keep it up. Keep it up. Yes! Oh, that's such a relief! We can eat that! Oh, he only has a bath. Okay, I'll be fast. Okay, 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 okay. We've got some mushroom steaks. I'm gonna come eat some. This is huge. I'm so, so glad he made those. I could probably talk to him also. Just build all my needs at once. Oh, that's right. He doesn't like me because I ignored him. I ignored his welcome wagon. Well, maybe I can wash my hands repeatedly if I can't use your tub. That's not so bad. I mean, it's not good either, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Okay, let's head out. I keep getting lost and forgetting where the cave is. Hang on. All the way over here. There we go. Come on, Stanley. We're going in. Treasure chest. No, 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 no. I want to open it, but what if I die again? I'm going to open it. I died again! Oh, I only got to go in there once today. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. There's a snake. Well, Stanley, I guess we're going back home. <laughs> You're going to have to sleep until tomorrow. I don't know what to tell you. Well, there is some prairie grass. You could get that first, and then you can sleep until tomorrow. I did get some more hay, so we at least have more than one small in. Okay, day three. Let's see if we make it further this time. Okay, level one MC skeleton again. Six damage to Stanley. No, 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 no. I defeated the creature plus 25 cave progress and we picked up a cherry. Oh, I might plant that. There's a door with some kind of writing on it. Speak ba and enter. What could this mean? Well, it's a good thing I have a sheep. Stanley brings the mini sheep to the door and urges it forward. The mini sheep makes a resounding ba sound and the door suddenly starts to open, revealing a new underground level to the cave. Okay, day three and we're just now on level two. Oh, <laughs> there's a T-Rex and the T-Rex needs red meat. I don't have any red meat, so I'm gonna run away. I have been defeated and chased out of the cave. I guess I should buy some red meat for tomorrow. I just got a frog. That should pay for the red meat. I'd also like to sell that mini sheep again because I don't really need it. I only needed it to get into that door. Hopefully I won't have that door again. Here, I'll shear it for simoleons and then I'll sell it again. Trade for... Oh, I could trade it for ingredients and produce. Should I try that? What did it give me? Oh, the delivery is on the way. Oh, I have to wait for the mail. My cherry tree does grow in this season. I could plant that. I'll get a roof on my place and make it into a tiny house. Oh, the mailbox already has something in it. Do you think it came straight away? The answer is yes, it did come straight away. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. I wasted a lot of money by doing that. I got a raspberry, which doesn't grow in this season. So that's completely useless to me. I should have traded it back for money. Let's go to the grocery store. We'll buy some meat. I would really, really like to have a place to get food. If I, oh my God, I can't. 
I can't get married for money. All I have is the cave. But if I could stop coming here for chips, that would be great. I'm hoping that I can eat the cherries, to be honest. Let me shop for groceries and goods. I've never really gotten that far in the cave, so I don't know what all you need. We need meat. That is for certain. It can spoil- Oh my god. If I just bought that prematurely, I might cry. We've still had enough of the caverns for today because of the stupid snake, but I think I might let him just sleep out here. I know that's bad, but my thought is that I'll just place the sleeping bag out here and then I'll just stay here overnight. I got a frog. That's nice. I'm hungry again and there's bugs from sleeping in the sleeping bag. <sighs> I want to get a house so bad. I just want walls. All right, well, I can go back in the caverns now. <laughs> he might pee his pants in there, but we'll see how it goes. Stanley sees a shimmer and discovers some ore deposits. Mine it. Oh my god. <laughs> Stanley tried to extract the ore gently, but has triggered a cave-in. Luckily, he made it out before being squished underneath the rocks. Okay. And yet again, that's enough of the caverns for today. Okay, well, I went and got some food. I peed. He's hungry again already, but I'm just gonna make him keep sleeping all night so we can go into the caves again. Oh, I can go into the caves again. Maybe it's like every 12 hours. All right, there's a level two bear. Health 10. Offense. 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 Oh my god, it keeps doing damage to me. Defense. Okay, we regained some health. I have not done any damage to this bear. Eight damage to Stanley. Seven damage to Stanley. Oh my god. Stanley is defeated in his chased out of the cave by the creature? Are you joking? Again? Oh, this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. This might be the worst rags to riches I've ever tried. Everything is bad. I'm sorry, Stanley, you have to go in the caves again. I don't know what to tell you. We can work on your needs after. I just need money. It's a skeleton. I did four damage. This one seems less bad than the bear yesterday. Oh, I defeated it. What, how is that? Okay, okay. Tell me how that was so easy. I defeated the bat too. I got another cherry. I got a duck. Oh, I think he left the cave because he has to pee so bad. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, we'll go, I'll go to the gym. You can use stuff at the gym. Don't pee your pants. Don't pee your pants. Don't pee your pants. Don't pee your pants. Run, 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 run. Okay. <laughs> that is a relief. What are you doing? Doing push-ups while I'm showering? Well, Stanley likes working out, so he's building fun from this while he talks to people. And I guess now I can just go grab some chips. My cherry tree grew, so I'm planting the other one, and I sold that rubber duck that we got, so we have a little bit more money. Okay, my new problem is that he can't pick up his sleeping bag because a frog spawned in it, and he can't pick up the frog because there's a sleeping bag in it. So I have officially lost my sleeping bag. That is so great. Okay, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna get a frog and then I'm gonna cheat to give myself another sleeping bag because I don't deserve to suffer like this. Stanley sees a shimmer and discovers some ore deposits. Leave it, leave it, ignore it. It always goes bad. Treasure chest, open it. No, not the snakes. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. Okay. That's fine. That is totally and completely fine. I'm cheating for my sleeping bag and giving my money back because it's not my fault that I had to delete it. Oh, and I can sell this frog. Oh my God, we have nothing. Back to bed, Stanley, back to bed. I just keep clicking on it over and over again. Oh, I can do it again. And I'm starving and I have bugs, but that's okay. Ignore the ore deposits, leave the treasure chest. Dinosaur dilemma. Okay, okay, I have the meat. I drained nine stamina from the T-Rex. Okay, I'm glad I bought that. <laughs> I needed more meat. I only had one piece of meat. No, no. Oh my God. This is actually unbearable. These caves are unbearable. All right, next day, trying again. It lets me do it about every 12 hours. Not the bear. Oh my God. Oh, I did six damage. Okay, okay, do it again. Yay, I defeated it. It dropped a carrot. I'll plant that. Look, I also got some hot tea. Oh, if Stanley tries to cross a bridge, a giant goose blocks the path and demands a gift of food. What food could this goose want to eat? I don't know. Try to feed it. The goose is not amused. Stanley needs to find something geese like to eat. What could it be? No. Okay, I just noticed if you shift click on the cave, you can debug it and give yourself all the necessary cave items. This is so interesting. Prairie grass hay, prairie grass nectar, glass of water. It looks like potato nectar, energy nectar, a couple rare frogs, rainbow fish, a bunch of meat. I had no idea it was this difficult. They even want fruit cake for this? Like, how are you supposed to know that? How, how deep do these things go? I don't even feel bad about cheating for those items. I have been through enough, okay? You know what? I'm gonna feed Stanley. I just wanna see the caves at 
this point. Oh my god, it's the sheep again! Okay, you're lucky I have another one now, because I would have been upset. <laughs> I would have started crying. Treasure chest. No, leave it. Leave it. Ignore it. It never works. Oh, I picked up a lily from that spider. That's worth a fair amount of money. A death flower? <gasps> oh, wait, that's actually really good. <laughs> Those are kind of hard to get. They're also worth a lot. It's worth 240. 21 simoleons. Okay, that's not as, that's not as good as a death flower. I've ignored like four treasure chests today because I just want to get further in the cave. Oh, dinosaur dilemma. Guess what, T-Rex? I have meat now. Only because I cheated for it, but I have plenty. Okay, I didn't know you needed to bring this much meat. Tentacle Tom. Oh, I got a toy. I'll sell that. Speak Ba and enter. Why this again? Okay, note to self, always bring a sheep in here. We're level four in the cave. And here's something horrifying that I learned. Wait, no, no, not the T-Rex again. Okay, I was gonna say, the horrifying thing that I learned is that one, you need like 50 things of meat for dinosaurs, but two, there's no end to the caves. In the code, they go to like level a million, so they're sort of open-ended and you can just keep going and going and going and going and going, so there is no stopping point for us. So what are you doing? Are you eating the fruitcake? Oh my God, Stanley, I swear to God. I need that. I don't know for what, but I'm gonna need that. All right, buddy, back into the caverns. Look at this, this skull is on fire in a vacuum. A vast cavern covered with grapevines, the flaming skull of Necto has appeared before Stanley. He blocks the way forward and looks expectantly at Stanley and the flames begin to heat up. Okay, well, I have a special item. I did 11 damage. Oh. Plus 50 to cave progress? And I got 10 simoleons. The headless rider? Within a large cavern opening, a headless rider bursts forth in front of Stanley and begins to circle with an otherworldly groan from their fiery horse. The headless rider dealt 10 damage to Stanley? Oh no. I got chased out of the cave by the headless rider. I don't even know what item it consumed. I think that one likes energy nectar. I don't like these caverns. I don't like them one bit. And every night at like around 9 p.m., a bunch of bats fly out of the cave and it freaks me out every single time. Oh, now it's raining and we don't have a roof. <laughs> oh, Stanley, I'm sorry. Back into the cave. The creature does 10 damage to Stanley. Oh, it's prank day. Great. You know what? I'll tell you this. It feels like I'm being pranked by the game right now. That spider dropped an element. We got a foe zone. No, no, ignore that treasure chest. Stupid dinosaur. I hate this dinosaur. Stanley flees and is chased out of the cave by the T-Rex. What did I tell you about how much I hate that dinosaur? Stanley has unlocked the frequent traveler lifestyle. We also have the adrenaline seeker lifestyle in progress. I don't think I've ever seen this. Frequent travelers make a habit of visiting new and exciting places and want to experience everything these locales have to offer. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, travel for vacations, visit exotic hidden destinations, and seek out new experiences while traveling. Okay. Okay, well, at least we gained something from just staying in a cave for weeks. We got 53 simoleons from killing that bat. And the sheep is back. We're in level five of the cave now. <laughs> I hate the T-Rex. I hate dinosaurs. The T-Rex chase drains 10 stamina from Stanley. Oh wait, the T-Rex loses interest in the shiny object. Stanley sighs in relief and continues to explore. Okay, that one dropped a trash fruit, which is absolutely, completely, and totally useless. Mm. Oh my god, if I see this dinosaur one more time, I might- I might actually burst into tears. The Headless Rider dealt critical damage to Stanley. Okay, so we're out again. <laughs> Another day, another like 20 simoleons. It's been a week in game and all I have is a stupid sleeping bag. And, and I cheated to get stuff that I could use to defeat these things. Prank day was awful. Oh, imagine how I feel. You think it was bad, Stanley? You think it was bad? Well, I guess actually he had it worse. He got defeated by a headless horse rider. I didn't even have to watch it happen. I just sat here and clicked buttons. Speaking of buttons, it is time to go back. Let's open the treasure chest. Why not? 76. Six simoleons! And we unlocked the adrenaline seeker lifestyle. Look at that. 14 simoleons from killing a bat. Adrenaline seeker. It's a lifestyle for sims who seek out danger, adventure, and sometimes even drama, apparently. Oh, I got a horse statue! Stanley comes to an entrance that is blocked by an inferno. Oh, that's what the water cups are for. No inferno can match the might of a glass of water. Stanley douses the flame and continues exploring the cave. We're on level six. Not this! The headless rider I actually can't defeat. I have not not done it once. He only has six health left. Might be able He's only got six health left. I might be able to do it. No, he dealt 10 damage to me. Bill 780? No, no. 
no. <laughs> no, no. I can't, I can't pay that. I don't have anything on my lot. You're joking. You're joking. <sighs> At least the headless rider's distracted and he left. Well, I don't have any electricity, so I don't have to pay the bills. Mysterious challenger? Stanley stumbles upon what appears to be a small camp when a suspicious looking fellow blocks the path ahead. He extends his hand and challenges Stanley to a not so friendly wager over a thumb war. Oh, I don't have this kind of money. Oh, I won 11 simoleons from him. Oh, great. I don't, <laughs> I don't have this kind of money. I can't, I can't keep doing it. I don't have any money left. <sighs> I just spent hundreds of simoleons on that. I spent hundreds of simoleons and I have to press run away. Oh my god. This is horrible. The caves are horrible. I look, listen. They're fun, okay? The caves are fun, sure. But listen to me. I have 800 simoleons I have to pay in bills today. I just spent like 400. The only money I've earned this whole time. Wagering with some random guy. And technically, the only money I've ever earned that I have left over is 306. From a death flower, which is super lucky, a lily, a trash plant, and a carrot. My cherry trees never actually grew anything, and they're out of season now, so I can just sell them. I still don't have enough money for my bills, and I don't think that I should sell any of these things, because I cheated for these. I don't, I don't want to look at that. I actually can't look at that bills thing. He does keep eating the fruitcake that I have in my inventory, but I don't really mind. The lesson I have learned is that it is physically impossible to make money from this. The caves are fun to explore, like it's kind of exciting to do. I'm not complaining about that part. But as far as money goes, this is just not, it's not a thing. You can't make money in the caves. The coolest thing I found was a death flower and you can get that other ways. You should get that other ways. I'm gonna give it a few more goes, but I am, I am this close to giving up. Yeah, Stanley is chased out of the cave by the headless rider. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not surprised. I still haven't bought anything and I just keep going back and forth using bushes to pee and now it's snowing. That, that is just perfect. I don't care about the water being shut off. I don't have any water. I don't care about the power. I don't have any power. I should have picked a smaller lot, but I just, I, I don't know. I picked the one that was there. No, 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 no. Oh, it's the mysterious challenger. I don't have money for this. I have to keep doing it. There's, I can't stop, right? Oh, oh, the mysterious challenger dealt a critical blow to Stanley's finances. With that, Stanley runs out of the cave to figure out where to get more simoleon. I, so you're telling me Stanley runs out of the cave to try and figure out where to get more simoleons. Um, the only way that I have said I'm allowed to earn simoleons is in the cave. I have now spent like 800 simoleons on this guy. I have 15 left and I think I'm giving up. It's impossible. You can't make money in the cave. You, you just can't make money in the cave. You want to see my house? You want to see the progress that I've made so far? This is my house. I'll sell this for good measure. I've got a few raspberries on there, okay? So I've got 102 simoleons, a dirty plate, a mailbox, and an empty square. And that's it. And to make matters worse, it's thunderstorming now. You can't go back without this. You need to get your sleeping bag first. Stop. You have- No, no, no. Pick it up. Okay. Imagine he gets struck by lightning, because that would be just my luck. He's even cold. Look, he's cold. Old. Buddy, you want to try and sleep? It has calmed down a little bit. If I go back in this cave and it's that money guy again, I'm out. I'm done. Okay. It's a flaming skull. You know what? I've learned my lesson. I think it's time that we all flee the cave. Okay. I keep trying thinking maybe it's going to work this time. It's not. It's not going to work this time. Don't do this for money. Don't do literally anything else for money. Make nectar. You'll make hundreds of thousands of simoleons making nectar. You'd be lucky to get two simoleons in the cave. This is honestly impressive how bad this is at making money. This is by far the worst rags to riches I have ever tried. I had a pretty hard time with the cross stitching one because we had to pay so much money to cross stitch. But even in the cross stitching one, I had a couple things. Things. In this one, I have a sleeping bag and that's it. I'm really curious to hear all of your thoughts on this cave because honestly, it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. It's wild how it never ends. You can just keep going if you wanted to. And I'm sure the Sims team had a lot of fun setting it up, but oh my God, this is a useless moneymaker. Obviously that wasn't their intention when they made it. You aren't supposed to make money from this. I just, I like to test the boundaries and this one did not work out for me. But on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here, I think, because I, I am well and truly giving up. If if you want to watch a slightly more lucrative version of Rags to Riches, I'm gonna link the nectar making one here at the end of the video. That was a way more pleasant experience for everyone involved. And with that, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.
Dread Horse Caverns is a very appropriate name because I do dread them. I'm not kidding. I'm never going back in there. I'm gonna need at least a few month break. I don't even want to look at those things again. 